guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the next question. If it's your first time, please consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel and clicking that notification bell. We are looking at the low to two to five thousand subscribers at the end of the year, and it's only by your support. In today's video, we are going to look at the latest inform the latest uh, breaking news that has always been happening around, and that is of a young girl that is called Minisa uh, Minisa Jacob that was uh, uh, she got stuck up in the bus and she definitely got to suffocate after which was not good news at the end of it all remember we are talking about this the minutes of education and how kids will be taken out care of especially when it comes to school buses in one way or the other and this was a, 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 a tragic accident that never happened and we got to lose uh, one of the four-year-old baby losing her life in just kind of tragic roles we never know uh, which was definitely Definitely the wrong side of it all was it the people that are in charge who did not do their responsibilities at that time. And we look at the latest development. However, according to the latest sources, as per the Minister of Interior or the Minister of Education and Higher Education in Qatar, uh, thorough investigations we are being conducted, we are being carried out to find out what exactly happened and who of those people neglected what we call their duties to perform their duties, not to expectation. Because remember, if sometimes when you definitely don't for don't do your duties right away, right, you never know what may happen to you. And this is exactly what happened. No, no, no one of the bus, no one the driver no even the bus attendant knew that uh, the kid was left in the bus but however to some of their friends they definitely said that they did not see her come out and you know definitely no uh, they said by the time they came back to open the gap the bus she was already off she was not already fine and by the time they had to take her back to hospital to try to see that she can get the medical treatment and get that care it was too it was just too late for her and we just got to to lose out uh, a four year old minister jacob uh, which is a car expert expert a child that is a uh, uh, in, in one school and she got to, 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 to lose her life in that kind of However, what kind of step as the government, you know, the government of Qatar and the Minister of, of Qatar always condemns such kind of actions and what actions were taken is that thorough investigations were done and when the thorough investigations were done, it found out that the schools, authorities or those people that were in charge neglected what to do their duty. They don't perform their duty rightly and what were the repercussion? The repercussion is that the school was closed or the cabinet or the 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 the, the, uh, the cabinet that was in charge of the investigation and in charge of uh, schools and the higher education decided to close the school for that matter and uh, actually it even or, or further say that severe pa severe punishments and penalties were also to be accrued or to be given to the school for not performing their duties or not even monitoring the people for losing that kind of tragic or uh, this situation of losing that old baby, uh, Melissa, uh, Minisa, Mariam Jacob, who lost her life in a bus after getting to suffocate inside the bus, being forgotten or left in the bus uh, at that time. So the ministry has imposed, imposed has gone further to impose what we call severe, uh, uh, severe penalties on the school authorities and as well as the school including its closure which was actually uh, which was actually the major step that we thank the government uh, for for coming in for this situation and we thank the minister of uh, the minister of uh, higher education in Qatar that uh, took a thorough bigger step the faster step to see that the situation would come back to normal thank you so much for coming back to this channel and uh, this makes from the next question that will always give you the updates around Qatar the Gulf countries and all the world at large latest development updates are always be able are always be happy to to inform you remember i'm inspired to update you whatever it is happening thank you so much see you again in the next video as we try to see all the other related development we look at the jobs we look at travel and everything in between in the gulf countries and the world at large